Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video today. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notifications so you can be notified when my videos do go live because you know YouTube be on a bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to the intro. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another college football ultimate team video today. Of course. Yes, we're back with an ultimate team video. So yes, we're on college football 25. So today's video is going to be going over pretty much what you should do first when you load up this game when it comes to ultimate team not any other game modes but specifically ultimate team just to give the beginners a little bit a little bit of tips and some advice on what to do. Because um, I know college football is um kind of new for some people um for other people they may be used to playing the older college footballs and they don't really know too much and then plus as well college ultimate team is kind of new for college football so we're gonna get into that as well but um like i said if you haven't checked out my previous college football content all the videos the gameplays um me going over the legends that actually dropped today too check that video check those videos out i got a whole playlist full of videos i got one that's strictly for just anything college football then i have one for college football ultimate team so make sure you guys check out those two playlists if you guys want to catch up and see where we're at currently but like i said we're gonna um let you know exactly what you need to do first so as soon as you load up college football ultimate team if you have pre-ordered the deluxe edition or even the standard edition i think um you should be getting pre-order packs so you're going to be able to get those pre-order packs in that and those pre-order packs by itself are going to help you start your team so I know you can get Travis Hunter and you have the alumni uh, pack and some other packs as well, depending on the, the game that you get, you would get pre-order packs and you can use those players towards your team so that you can pretty much have a little head start. Um, this is my team currently. I, I am a 72 overall. I'm gonna show you guys how I've been kind of grinding a little bit. I haven't been grinding for a week. I literally have, I literally got the game on Friday because I didn't get any of, any of the deluxe edition or any of those editions. I just got the regular standard game. So I've been grinding. I haven't really been grinding like that until probably today, honestly. So um, this is my team so far. It's not too crazy. Um, but my whole thing is how I like to attack it. I like to get my team to all gold. So as you can see, I have a bunch of silvers on here. If you know, when it comes to these cards, a lot of these stats are not good. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, you're gonna have to play a lot of solos, a lot of solo battles, a lot of head to head. Um, there's a new new mode called Gauntlet um, to play as well. So there's a lot of things you can do to earn coins and to build your team. But when you first load up, take your pre-order packs, whatever you get, the players, and put them on your team. Do not sell anything. That's what you don't wanna do. Do not sell anything. Like I said, the market is gonna stabilize probably in a week or two, and we're finally gonna kinda see where the value of certain cards are. We have so many cards in game right now from Legends to Season 1 to um, these other programs, weekly programs that are going to be happening weekly. So it's very, very crucial that you do not just go and just sell off. Unless you have something that's going for millions of coins or three, four, five hundred k okay, go ahead and sell that all. But if you just have some, some, some 80, 82, 83s, more than likely keep it for your team because when it comes to players on this game like players are, are very important when it comes to attributes are very important if you got some sorry as players on the field <laughs> they're gonna be sorry on the field <laughs> for real but first thing like i said that'll be the first thing so any pre-order packs any players you get insert them in your lineup because they are going to help you i will not advise for anybody to go to the auction house do not spend coin we all know when it comes to this game because i had to learn this as well when it comes to Madden Ultimate Team, coins are very, it's very easy and simple to get. And you can get to the millions and the value of coins on Mutt 24 are kind of, the value of Madden coins are lower than college. College football, when it comes to coins, they are a lot higher value, meaning that they mean a lot more. They have a lot, of, lot more value. It's going to be hard to get coins on this game. There are ways to get coins, but it's going to be a lot harder than if we were on Madden. So when it comes to this game, we got to do a lot more. We got to put a lot more time, a lot more energy, um, not 
and then, and then I'm minusing the people that took advantage of the glitches that continue to come out over and over again when it comes to sets and solos and packs and all that. If you spend money in the game, this doesn't go towards you. I'm only talking to the people that are beginners that don't really have a lot of money to spend. That's no money spent. Those are the guys I'm talking about. So if you if you are one of those guys and you watching this video, this is for you. So once we got our pre-order pack, stay away stay away from the auction house until you build your coin stack for sure. And what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is, of course, we do have a fill pass for this. So if you go to your fill pass, you have your orientation fill pass here. So that pretty much it's very simple things that you can do, and you can complete it. And these are the rewards for it. So. The, these are the objectives. So when you complete the objectives, you get certain XP that goes towards this pass, this season pass. And once you complete it, you, you can get coins. And then at the very end, you can get a varsity pack. What is a varsity pack? I don't know, um, but we're gonna figure it out when I actually get there. But it's certain things you can acquire packs, improve your lineup, complete solo challenges as well. And then some of them are gonna say play five games. So that probably is gonna involve solo battles, some solo battle stuff, house rule stuff. Um, this is very small things you can do to pretty much complete this orientation fill pass now once you complete that you do have the season one fill pass so this one is going to consist of coins cards strategy items you have some elites in here as well um, 84s it looks like you have some 82s um so you get coins so in order to level this pass up of course you have dailies every day so you want to log in every day and you want to make sure that you complete all these dailies every single day so open in a pack getting yards or getting touchdowns sacks whatever it says because this this refreshes every single day you want to get this because this will give you xp towards this field pass um of course you got season one objectives in regards to stats so for passing yards for first downs for head-to-head -head wins extra point this this pretty much um refreshes every season so after like 30 days of season one it looks like 38 days and 19 hours and 58 minutes of that's how long that these that the season one is going to be like this now they are going to add more objectives throughout the season before the season ends but you want to go ahead and keep up with this stuff and you want to do this stuff constantly um to level up this season pass because this is where the coins and this is where the players like you don't really have to go to the auction block to be buying players if you really want to upgrade your team and you want to grind it this is how you're going to do it so you're going to go through the season one pass then you have this which is a program the icymi this is another program a weekly program that is going on and it specifies that you got to get two players and put them in your lineup and then you have to get the certain amount of yards all this stuff is xp as you can see it says six thousand xp once you're done all this that six thousand xp is going to go towards this field pass it's going to level you up same thing with ultimate alumni this program is a is a weekly program as well too it's well, it's actually a multiple release program so it's going to be multiple releases um so it's going to have different objectives here so whatever is there complete it conference story same thing and legends of course that's a weekly program you want to do the same thing for that all these objectives and things th these are things that literally day one you can go in and you can grind these by yourself you can literally grind these by yourself you can when you grind these and play the solo challenges and play the solo battles like i said the number one thing i would recommend do not go to head to head head to head is not going to be your friend people have already dumped thousands of dollars already in game people have already took advantage of glitches that already happened week one people have 90 overall players in their lineups like i would not recommend head to head i would not recommend gauntlet those are great ways to earn coins and earn great rewards but if you do not have the team for it you're going to get dominated <laughs> you're going to get dominated and that's for sure so please stay away from that until you actually have a team up to par that can compete like you shouldn't be going to the head-to-head -head with a 70 overall cornerback and a 72 wide receiver when the other team got 80s and 83s and 84s and 85s and he locking you down you don't want to do that but season one field pass is definitely something you do want to focus on for sure because that is what's really going to help you upgrade your team get you coins get you packs all of that and it's going to stay and you're going to st stay up to date on everything as well as of course we know we have the season field pass we had the field passes that we talked about also solo challenges do not be afraid to do this grind these out i know they are boring but guess what these are these are where the easy rewards are going to come from like literally you grind these solo like the first solos is ultimate team one-on-one this is going over basic stuff and a lot of these challenges, like if I go into here, flick the wrist, throw a touch past this play and score a touchdown. As far as you get a bon bonus and you get two stars and essentially it goes towards your milestone. So 
at certain points, however many stars you get, by completing the series of solo challenges, you unlock rewards. BND 77 overall player, 74, coin 77, and then 79 overall player. Is a lot of rewards in the solos. Grind out the solos. Grind out the starter solos. Grind out the legends. The ultimate alumni. In case you missed it, conference stories. Grind out as many solos as possible. Take all those rewards and coins and put them into your team. If you don't, what I would recommend is, is try to use less as less coins as possible if you need to fill in certain positions and you don't have certain players then that's when you go to the auction block and you can kind of work with that once we get a base team then that's when we that's when we can look into the auction block and seeing if there's different strategies of getting more coins and stuff like that but you definitely in order to get your base team and to just to get yourself started take advantage of the solos and these challenges for sure for sure Work on this season one field pass as, re as well as the orientation field pass. Stay away from the auction block and stay away from head to head. And then if you really want, if you really have the urge, then I would just do, I would just do solo seasons because that's pretty much solo battles for college football. And these can give you rewards too because they have different divisions and rewards. They give you 4,500 coins depending on the wins and depending on what, what season it is and stuff like that. So if you really want to get into it type shit, then you can do that. But that's going to be pretty much it. I think I just clicked into the game. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that's going to be pretty much it for um, college football, you know, in regards to what you should be doing first if you're kind of lost. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.